Hi, my name is Neil Goosen. I'm an associate professor in chemical engineering and currently I'm the director of the Arua Center of Excellence in Energy within the engineering faculty. I would like to explain my research at the hand of a cow because a cow embodies the whole spirit of chemical engineering where there's an intake of low value raw material and there's a transformation into high value uh, materials called steaks and milk. And then inevitably there's also an outlet. Much of my research deals with development of animal feed ingredients or human uh, grade nutritional products, um, which is the intake bit of the cow. And what we do there is take low value materials and upgrade them through some sort of transformation process to get a higher value output. Obviously then there's the inside bit of the cow where the real action happens. Much of my work also deals with taking protein materials, something like black soldier fly larvae, purifying and upgrading the proteins to a human grade product. Cows also produce fat, so we've got projects looking at how you transform that fat into a high value um, platform chemical or something like a surfactant. Inevitably, there's also an outlet bit to the cow, something like methane, cow dung. We're looking at feeding the cow specific things uh, to decrease methane outlet, which is bad for the environment. Uh, we've also dealt a lot with biotransformation of cow manure uh, into biochemicals um, and biofuels like uh, biogas. Also, the cow needs to live somewhere where there's water, air, there's an environment. We deal with issues of water systems, energy systems and food systems and try and model the interactions between these different systems to optimize it and get a better outcome in terms of environmental protection, in terms of better economics. And so we deal with a lot of these uh, interacting uh, systems between the natural world and where society interfaces with it. I enjoy being a researcher because it's a place where you are allowed to be curious. You are almost forced to be curious. And I get to work with the cleverest people on the planet, which isn't a bad thing to do.